This five-minute video is an overview of the water meters used for residential water service connections in the SCRD. Water meters are the final piece in the water infrastructure system operated by the SCRD before water reaches our homes. They are a collection of straightforward technologies combined into a clever and accurate device. A water meter has three main components. A flow measuring device, which contains which is contained in this brass case, a flow register contained in what we call the meter head, and a transmission device that communicates the meter data. The majority of meters in the SCRD use a medium range radio signal that allows the meter information to be communicated between each water meter and a vehicle mounted receiver that collects the meter data from the roadway. Let's take a closer look at the flow measuring device that uses positive displacement to measure water volume. Opening the brass casing, we access the sealed chamber where the water flows through. This chamber contains the part that spins a mutating disc. As water enters the meter, it pushes the disc up and around, releasing water to flow out and towards the home. This size of meter requires 320 milliliters to complete one spin, providing a precise volume of water recorded with each spin. Mutating disc meters maintain high accuracy at low flows and sustain this accuracy over the long term. Here's what the disc looks like outside of the chamber. Each spin of the mutating disc in turn rotates the spinner on the top of the chamber. Now the spinning flow measuring device needs to communicate with the flow register and it does so through some simple science. Can you spot it? With each spin of the mutating disc, this magnet rotates once as well. The magnet has a counterpart inside the center of the flow register. Here's the magnet in the center of the flow register. It is balanced between two nodes of copper wire coils. You'll notice these nodes are spaced slightly closer than 180 degrees. This tells the register the direction of spin and therefore the direction of water flow. Now what happens when a magnet spins past coils of copper? You're right, we make electricity. These nodes conduct as the meter spins and the data is tallied and stored in the circuit board beneath. This information can then be communicated onto the meter screen or transmitted through the antenna as a radio frequency to be collected by the SCRD's receiver as it drives by the meter each month. The monthly meter reads collect the total volume of water used in cubic meters and any leak notifications. A common question we receive is how does the water meter know when there is a leak? Is it based on how much water is used? And while it seems intuitive, the answer is no. Leak detection is not based on volume of water. Instead, the water meter is programmed to generate a leak code or notification when water flow is recorded 24 hours a day. This can be as small as a dripping tap, running toilet, or as large as a burst water line. The SCRD collects these notifications as part of the meter data each month, and in turn, letters are mailed to property owners with 24-hour flow. As we trans transition, excuse me, to water data being available through my SCRD accounts, this information can be emailed or viewed online by property owners. Residents of the SCRD have been really great at fixing leaks. Small and large, we have been fixing two leaks a day on average since 2017, which is pretty incredible. If you're curious about water meter data for your property, there is a link below to the water metering webpage with more information about our monthly water use update program. We welcome your questions. Thank you for your interest in our shared water systems.